Chancellor, I present to you for the award of the degree of Doctor of Science Honoris Causa, Professor Janet Derbyshire. Professor Janet Derbyshire has been a beacon of leadership in the international sphere of clinical trials for more than 40 years. Her research has had a significant impact on world health and she's championed the role of women in science and medicine. She has been an unwavering advocate for the inclusion of the interests of patients and policymakers in her research and remains an outstanding role model for a whole generation of clinical trialists. After qualifying in medicine at the University of Manchester in 1970, Professor Derbyshire held positions at Manchester Royal Infirmary and subsequently moved to London where she specialised in respiratory medicine. In 1974, she joined the UK's Medical Research Council's Tuberculosis and Chest Diseases Unit, coordinating a programme of clinical trials of tuberculosis treatments in Africa. The outcome of these trials played a key role in the establishment of treatment for tuberculosis worldwide. In 1989, Professor Derbyshire then became head of the new MRC's HIV Clinical Trial Centre in London, where she applied her experience in tuberculosis to develop a global programme of clinical trials to tackle HIV infection. Professor Derbyshire's work in HIV characterises her unwavering commitment to building and strengthening of clinical research capacity in countries with little or no previous expertise in clinical trials. She has worked tirelessly to support the identification of proven clinical treatments that can improve population health across low and middle income countries. In the late 1990s, Professor Derbyshire then went on to establish and direct the Medical Research Council's Clinical Trials Unit, where her research and leadership provided vital drive and support for the development of clinical trials capacity here in the UK and across the UK scientific community. Her knowledge and expertise in clinical trials ensured the development of safe and effective medicines, saving millions of lives and preventing disease in the UK and right across the world. Professor Derbyshire was awarded an OBE in 1996 and again a CBE in 2010 for services to clinical sciences. She was also the recipient of the Medical Research Council's Millennium Medal in January 2018. This is awarded every two years to an outstanding scientist who has made a major contribution to improve human health through world-class medical research. She was the first ever female recipient of that award and continues to be internationally recognised as an outstanding leader and role model for women in medicine and science. Professor Derbyshire has also been a very long time advocate and supporter of the global programme of clinical trials research led here from the University of Aberdeen. She served as the chair of our international advisory group for many years, providing mentorship and advice, and we are truly honoured to have gained from her insight and experience. Chancellor, in recognition of her outstanding contribution towards the scientific advancement of clinical trials, her impact on world health over many years, and for championing the role of women in science and medicine. It is my true honour and privilege to invite you to confer upon Professor Janet Derbyshire the degree of Doctor of Science, honoris causa. Thank you. Vectorum Creo.
It was a lovely event. I was very honoured and privileged to be given this honorary degree and it's particularly nice because I have a long association with Aberdeen and with the clinical trials group here and particularly with Marion so, and Adrian Grant before her. So it's really been a great day and it was, I think, very nice because it was a small event. You know, it wasn't a, 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 a huge um, graduation ceremony so it's I felt very privileged to be part of such a special event for the university in such an important year too it's a university which has got very strong traditions the music I've heard today has been fantastic not just the jazz band that we can hear now but the the newly composed pieces so I have a huge respect for it and I it, it's nice to feel a bit more part of it after today